Do you have random shit around your house that nobody on eBay would buy? What do you know? So do I. Here's my crappy old desk chair that somebody's gonna pick up in about two hours time from now. Whenever I sat on it for five minutes or more, it sank. I'd wobble around in it more than that gif of Toad from Mario. <laughs> The armrest has a screw in it which always falls out. A piece of wood from inside the chair pierced through the material. I think staples were used on the armrest because these little metal things kept coming through and pricking me in the arm. Nobody was gonna buy that shit. But I didn't wanna just throw it away because it's actually still kind of comfy-ish. Despite the wear and tear, it's still comfier than just sitting on a kitchen chair at your desk. Lots of people working at home now, so I thought, hey, I'll put it on the Facebook marketplace for free. It was gone in 10 minutes. Somebody messaged me to claim the chair in 10 minutes. I posted it at one o'clock in the morning. People are like vultures on the Facebook marketplace. But it's great. And I'm aware that I'm like two years late on making a Facebook marketplace video. It was all a rage back in like 2018. Everyone was making videos like, oh, weird things we can find on the Facebook marketplace. Or wasting people's time on the Facebook marketplace. But I'm not out here trying to waste anybody's time. Oh no. We're in a lockdown right now. People are selling literally anything they can so they can afford Disney+. Plus. I mean, these people haven't actually watched any of the MCU films, but they've heard that WandaVision's all the rage right now, so no other choice but to sell the kids' shoes. Uh, the, the, but I live in, in a smallish town. You know, a lot of these people who make videos are in big cities. There are thousands of weirdos in big cities. Come to think of it, there's thousands of weirdos here too. And I found some of the shit they're selling. No, it's not extremely weird shit, like feces. Do people do that? Actually, I wouldn't be so sure that that chair is feces free. <laughs> Imagine putting something on the Facebook marketplace, putting a little tag like feces free. Comes from a smoke, pet, and feces free home. We shit in buckets outside. What can I say? We like to keep our furniture clean. I could scroll through the Facebook marketplace for hours, but I made my own little folder over the last few weeks of some gems I've found. Also, before we, um... Dive in. I'm actually working on a few videos which are a bit bigger and are gonna take a while. I'm also redecorating and moving around my room. So enjoy it while it lasts. Uh, so this is just a fun little video I thought I'd slot in in the meantime, you know, just whilst I'm working on some other stuff. So I hope you enjoy the feces because there's definitely human feces on this chair. Unfortunately, this one I saved a few weeks ago is no longer available, but luckily I was so amazed by the description that I sent it to my friend and I can share it with you. So there's no abundance of liars and scammers on the Facebook marketplace. And usually their stories are pretty sus. Among us, among us. Humongous. There was one guy I saw recently who was like, Oh, I bought this new Samsung phone, but you see, I had an injury and it's too big for me to use with my small hands. Um, and then I clicked on his profile and he was selling like 20 phones. <laughs> mm, I don't think the sub story was true. Oh, this Samsung is too big for my small hands. But I do also have five iPhone 11 Maxes. So if I remember this right, this was an RTX 3080, I think. One of the new Nvidia graphics cards, which has just been sold out everywhere. This is Scalper's Glory. I think these things are actually harder to get your hands on than a PS5 right now. And this guy was selling it for much higher than the retail price. There's a sad face in here, so I'm gonna have to do a sad voice. Purchased as a surprise gift for my son. His mother wouldn't let me give it back to him. Sad face. Bought a week ago but open to seaweed what's inside. I don't know what seaweed means. Actually have no clue what it is, but he kept hinting he wanted one. Can give receipt. I don't mind. His, his son was hinting that he wanted one. He had no clue what it is, but somehow managed to beat the scalpers to buy one. The fact that it says that this item isn't available at the moment means it's been taken off, which suggests his account was taken down, which is quite possible, but also suggests that somebody genuinely bought this for so much more than it cost. Oh, it's scalpers, man. Just, if you're gonna be a scalper, just be honest, man. Just do it. Just be a scalper. <laughs> Black office chair, no longer needed, just taking up space. We've got a very uh, a fecal looking stain here. I, I, I don't want to know what the white stain is, honestly. Um, lots of hairs. How did I give away this chair for free and they're selling this chair for £10? Maybe it should have charged £10. Somebody probably would have bought it. The, the stains on this can only be described as when you look at a light for too long and then you blink and in the darkness of your vision you can still see little flashes of light. I, I, except it's real. 
and it's on a chair. <laughs> and they want 10 pounds for it. Oh, gee. Oh, no, dude. That's grim. That's grim. Next one is indoor snowballs. <laughs> The first of all, I'm, I'm like surprised that this is a product. This is a real product that exists. Indoor snowballs. Exciting indoor snowball fight. Safe, all season fun. Nothing like a good old snowball fight in June, huh? I mean, there's nothing wrong with the fact that somebody's trying to sell this because they've obviously bought it from like B&M bargains. It was Christmas a couple months ago and we didn't get any snow. It says used once. <laughs> That's gonna be disappointing. The part of the excitement of snowball fights is that it's just snowed out of nowhere and there's this thick beautiful layer of just perfectly untouched snow and kids just want to go outside and ruin it straight away i think the magic is lost a little bit when you go hey kids want to play with indoor snowballs i'm glad they come from a pet free and smoke free house though you know what they say about yellow snow it's piss. Don't eat it. It's piss. <laughs> Imagine if this came from like a chain smoker's house and they were just slightly yellow. They want a pound for it, by the way. They live around the corner from me. Should we go and get them? This one's good. The caption is, anyone interested in these offers, please? It's a bunch of vinyl records. All quite old by the looks of it because they're all just black presses. Um, I can see T-Rex. I can see Slade. That's that's pretty much as, as much as I can see. That, that's right. Somebody's put um, uh, three different pyramids <laughs> of vinyl records and not put a single name of any of them. None of them seem to have a sleeve. Um, I'm assuming they've just been bare and out of a sleeve for many decades. <laughs> I can't tell what any of them are, bar a couple. There's 56 records here, I think. <laughs> not a single name for any of them. None of them are in their sleeves, so they're probably very heavily damaged. I don't know if maybe she's like, well, you can sell them and turn them into a bowl, because people do that shit, but <laughs> what the? What does she want us to do? I mean, we could probably ask her, but I don't want to waste the time because I don't want to buy any of these. They're probably scratched up to shit. This just perfectly captures the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this one got... <laughs> Bottle with lid, one foot high, no time wasters, please, sold a scene, can deliver. Right, okay, Katie, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this picture? <laughs> People are using smartphones to take these pictures and put them on Facebook. Right, I'm, I'm on my camera, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture of this, without even looking, I'm gonna go... And then, look, look at this. It's not scented or anything, but you can see more of the can of Coke than you can see of this bottle in this picture. I close my eyes. Are people on Facebook Marketplace so busy that they don't have the time to stand there, line the picture up and take it? Like that's, that took me what, two seconds? Okay, bottle with lid, uh, price five pound. Oh, picture, God, I haven't got time for this. Oh, there we go, uh, that'll do, right? I haven't got time to take another one. No time wasters with wasters in caps. Well, let me tell you, no time was wasted taking this picture, that's for sure. <laughs> but she can deliver it, though. She can deliver this bottle for £5. Fuck me. She's also classed it as a baby bottle. In what world is this a baby bottle? I mean, not that we can really tell from the picture, let's be honest. You know, part of me wants to message her just to waste her time. Highly rated? She's a highly rated seller. I would hate to see the letterboxed accounts of people who are rating this person. <laughs> hmm, Halle Berry's Catwoman. Hmm, it's gotta be five stars. Shawshank Redemption? Ugh, two. Xbox One swap for gaming PC. This might be one of the lowest quality pictures I've seen in the last five years. You know when takeaway restaurants take like a 400 pixel wide picture and then blow it up on a display that's actually like five foot wide? I'm, I'm getting those vibes. So he says Xbox One swap for gaming PC. I want to know where this guy lives because wherever it is, it's obviously some kind of magical, mystical world where a gaming PC costs the same amount as an Xbox One. Uh, but I also like that, although there is an Xbox One in the picture, uh, th there's also six PS4 games. There's one Xbox One game. The headset could be for either console, not quite sure. It says you get everything in the pick. So you get six PS4 games to go with your new Xbox One. <laughs> And just one Xbox game, which is FIFA, which nobody wants. I have a feeling that the fact this is still on here five weeks later that he hasn't managed to sell it yet. I wonder why. This next one? Computer. £350. That's pretty reasonable, depending on what's in it. Let's have a look. Uh, so, we, so we got a nice sideways Snapchat picture of, of, of his PC next to his monitor. 
Um, we have a water bottle next to it. Please stop that. It says setup is getting there, which obviously hasn't aged well because he's getting rid of it. Open to office, computer, keyboard, and mouse, and mouse pad, Corsair mouse, and keyboard, and mouse pad. <laughs> God, this description is really vague. Like, are we just getting the computer? Or is it coming with a keyboard or a mouse or a mouse pad? But you might think, what's wrong with this? Because this is an alright picture, it's fine. Um, this is this is until we have a look at the other pictures. Ah, this must be the Corsair mouse mat that looks very dirty. <laughs> this is like the chair from earlier. This <laughs> Maybe they're from the same house. The mouse looks fine. I mean, I personally want to disinfect it before touching it. They're based on the look of the mouse mat. But let's have a look at the keyboard. Hmm, jeez man, that's a dusty keyboard. If only there was an easy way for us to clean keyboards and keep the dust off it. Damn, if only man, that's a good keyboard gone to a waste. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man, I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. We can get our own mouse and keyboard and mouse mat, you know, like, we don't have to use his keyboard and stuff. I'm sure the actual computer is fine. Let's see what's inside the computer. The description doesn't really explain what's inside the computer, you know, parts-wise. Uh, so hopefully there's a, a nice picture to show what's inside so we can tell. No. No, there is not. I think this picture was taken by the same person who took the picture of the bottle. Man, how can- how can you post this? How can you post these pictures and ask for 350 pounds? The mouse mat is gross. The keyboard is caked in dust and looks grimy as fuck. You can't tell what's inside the PC. There's no pictures of the PC. Uh, what I'm getting from that is that there's a motherboard in there and a CPU, so we're good to go. Speaking of things that aren't clean, Apple earphones. We get a pair with every new iPhone we get, but then we lose them, or we break them, and we get replacement ones, but they never seem to be as good as the Apple ones that came with the phone. So what do you do? Luckily for you, not everybody uses the earphones that come with their iPhone. So here we have not one, but two brand new sets of Apple earphones, apparently, that look like someone sneezed on them, uh, from the inside of the glass. These look dirty, man. Brand new, still in the box, never opened. Then how come they look so gross? Remember that scene in the first Mr. Bean movie where he sneezes on the painting and then he has to use some like paint thinner to get it off and he wipes it and it just looks really cursed? Well, it looks like whoever cleaned them basically did the same job. <laughs> okay, I saved this one purely for the caption alone. Uh, so here we can see lots of sticks of RAM. I think I just like this one because it said 18 times computer RAM mixed all taken from working computers because I just like to imagine that this guy just went around to a bunch of different people's computers opened them up in the night took their RAM out and then sold it on Facebook for 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> like, he doesn't even know how much memory each stick of RAM is but you better lock your doors before Steven sneaks into your house at night and takes your RAM. Imagine having 18 sticks of RAM and selling it on Facebook marketplace for 15 <laughs> a graphics card slash hard drive slash Nintendo DS. Though I wasn't sure if this was like a homemade invention where they got a graphics card and a hard drive and a DS and they put it together and made this like super powerful DS, you know? Uh, no, this guy's just selling um, a shitty old graphics card, um, a Nintendo DS. And, and a hard drive. Uh, I don't really know what this means, but the description says Nintendo DS, £10, no space. The DS has a nice amount of, of uh, dirt underneath the hinges. Cool. Uh, the, the graphics card is also missing two screws from the VGA port. Easy fix. And he's just taking pictures of it on his bed. Oh, he's got a cone in the background. He's got a traffic cone. That's cool. This guy's out here putting a graphics card on a mattress. I'm honestly a little bit of a noob when it comes to computers and computer parts, uh, but I, I'm under the impression that any static electric pretty much fucks up any computer part. And, and laying it on a mattress that probably isn't the best idea. Here's a fun one. Panasonic Lumix DMC FS3. Here's a camera. <laughs> I love this one because it's another case of somebody just going like that with their phone to take a picture and then going, that'll do. It's blurry, but I'll do. It's basically just a white and black blur. The irony of it is that it's a camera, but the photo of the camera is really bad. Oh, nice. The uh, the back picture is pretty good. Um, I don't know what that says on the screen, uh, but it, it's got one. It's got a screen. At, at least we know that now. Original Xbox controller. Ah, yes. The original Xbox controller with their famous logo, 
AP. I remember the original Xbox controller, you know, with its its cable coming out of the bottom, and uh, it, it, its weird round shape, and the, the turbo and clear button. I'm gonna have to blur the picture on this one, but just take my word for it. It says Xbox One and Xbox 360. Four games will sail separately as they are for Xbox One and Xbox 360. We've got a couple angles here in the games, like FIFA, Destiny, Assassin's Creed, uh, Lego Batman 2. And alongside that, we got a picture of some random teenage girl's Instagram. <laughs> That's right. When you find... <laughs> Oh no, I just saw that the tag says Xbox. Oh man. <laughs> spell E-X-B-O-X. -X. How can you spell it right four times in the description and then tag it wrong? Yeah, so when you actually go to find this listing on the Xbox Marketplace, uh, the main picture isn't of the Xbox games, but this random person's Instagram account. As you can see by the back button and it says posts and that they're on the second picture of the two, they've like gone to this person's account, clicked on the picture and scrolled to the second picture, then taken a screenshot of it and obviously just fat thumbed it when selecting the pictures for this advert and just haven't noticed in two days. Fantastic. The Facebook marketplace just does not disappoint. Well, there you have it. That was my little dive into the Facebook marketplace and some of the wonderful listings people in my area have been putting on recently. I hope you've enjoyed something a little bit different, but if you watch Rick and Morty and you got a high IQ and prefer some of my video essays and more thought out videos, and I got some cool ones coming soon. And much like me doing a Facebook marketplace video, I think the Rick and Morty high IQ reference was like two years out of date. If you're gonna sell something on Facebook marketplace, please clean it first. Please take a picture of it that's not blurry, that you can actually see what it is and describe it properly. And just don't try and sell a chair that looks like somebody's taking a dookie on it. But anyway, my name's been Brody, otherwise known as Knockout Wolf. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, my friend Steven's gonna creep in your house and steal your RAM in the night. He's gonna, he's gonna sell it on Facebook Marketplace too. That's what's even worse. And also subscribe or else I'll cry. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's grim.